to 750. The issue of abortion rights has been on the top of the agenda in the United States, which is effectively banned in 14 states. It means many women face difficult decisions when searching for access to reproductive care. A short film called Red, White and Blue by British director Nazarin Chowdhury highlights this struggle. This is from the perspective of a single mum in Arkansas, just been nominated for an Oscar. Have a look. Can we go? We got food for you. Director Nazarene Chowdhury joins us now. That scene in the diner, because I don't what I don't want to do is spoil this. It's a 22, it's 22 minutes. It is 22 minutes. Every shot counts, every word, every gesture counts. But that scene we saw in the diner where the main character is assaulted by a diner, I think for me that was the moment that encapsulated what this woman was experiencing in terms of oppression at this moment in time. And I think that's definitely one of the feelings I got out of this film. How did it come about? What inspired you to write this? So I live in America now, and I'm raising two young daughters. And in 2022, the Supreme Court made a decision to reverse Roe v. Wade, and that had a knock-on effect across the country. And the real-world repercussions of that we're and just, just explain Roe v. Wade for anyone who's not familiar. So, for 50 years, we, there was a landmark ruling by the Supreme Court that protected reproductive rights and access to health care, uh, abortion, for so many different reasons. Uh, and that decision that had protected those rights for almost half a century was effectively reversed. And individual states are now enacting legislation that affects people's ability to get this necessary health care. So, in practical terms, you are talking about these 14 states, you're talking about women who are having to travel across state. Yes. Um, and and take risks to, to have reproductive care. Absolutely, and our story is actually set in Arkansas, which has some of the most restrictive legislation around that. And she has to, our character, Rachel Johnson, played by Brittany Snow, has to, in fact, go across two states, through Missouri into Illinois, to get this very urgent and necessary procedure. And I, myself, actually have my own lived experience of needing this care. I had a pregnancy that was not uh, viable. I was a mother of two children um, and then needed uh, that same procedure that became a life-saving uh, endeavor on, for me. Um, and we're hearing about cases with women who have to go out of state because they are also in the same situation where without that, you know, their life is at risk and they're not able to be the mother to the children that they may already have. So or it's a real problem. simply the women they want to be. And simply the women they want to be. And the way we set this story out, you know, there's a, there's a oh. turn in the story, but the way we're trying to land it as well is that there are any number of reasons you could want this or need this and to not have the judgment uh, placed upon these individuals for whatever reason that they might need health care because abortion is health care. Nazarene, so it's a, it's a short film. Mm -hmm. And uh, how have you or have you tried to avoid it becoming a political film? Because in, in America, this yes. is a huge political issue. People would argue it shouldn't be, but it is. How do you avoid it becoming part of some, what someone might use in a campaign uh, in terms of the issue itself? 
You know, there's a number of ways to tell this story and the predicament that people are in. Uh, the reason I work in the fictional space and the scripted space is that we can actually really utilize characters and storytelling to walk a mile in someone else's shoes and therefore make it less political that way because really what we're trying to do is talk about human beings and the connection we have to another human being and, you know, we deal as storytellers, especially in this fictional space, with this intangible quality that is empathy, that is sadly in short supply at the moment. And so I think by leading with that, that's how we've man managed to maybe be a little bit above the conversation on the political level and just be able to talk about it really on a very uh, human level. OK, so on, the, on that theme, and we'll talk about the Oscar congratulations, Thank by you. the way. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But have you had any adverse reaction? Have you? Because there is a lot of toxic stuff that knocks around, particularly in America, in relation to anyone who talks about this, this issue, which is part of the problem in itself, isn't it? Have, has, have you, has Not... anything come your way as a result of putting yourself as a fictional filmmaker into this territory? Not yet, and certainly not in a, you know, not really. Not at this moment which in time. Which is a good thing. Because which that is means a good it, yes. thing. And I will say, actually, what's happened is the reverse, where I've had people approaching me and saying, thank you so much for telling this story. I really came to this with preconceived notions or judgments. Watching your film made me review what I think about this. That isn't to say that I'm not expecting that. I knew very well when I wrote this that that backlash might be something that I had to confront. But I was game for it because it's such an important subject matter for me personally, but for our, the country as a whole. This is what we have to do as storytellers. We have to take those risks and we have to tell the stories and we have to start a conversation. Uh, and then there's the fun bit, OK? So you get to go to lunch with Steven Spielberg. Uh, is that right? At the Oscars, oh, the, the Oscars <laughs> luncheon. That was just this Monday. And in fact, tomorrow I'm at the Oscars uh, nominees reception tomorrow. Go on, then paint a picture. Um, What's it like? Names. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, I saw, I had a lovely conversation with Carrie Mulligan. I had... There's uh, you and Steve and Skillet's real back. That's right. And, you know, it was, I had been on the red carpet with him uh, for the premiere of War Horse in the UK. So when I went up to him, I told him, oh, I was on the red carpet with you, but you were so busy signing autographs, I didn't want to disturb you. And he was so charming. He said, so it took you 12 years to come say hi to me. <laughs> and then he took out his phone and opened up his notes app and he's like, let me just write down the name of your film. I'm going to watch all the short films anyway, but I just want to remember this. And he's looking at my name badge that has my Oscars nominee status on it and he's transcribing my name onto his phone. And I'm like, is it, this is very surreal. And then on the other side of me, there's Christopher Nolan and there's Martin Scorsese and there's Greta Gerwig and just... And so Nazarene many. Chowdhury. Thank you. Well, yes, it's just surreal to hear that, though. And did you? Did you? Well, I mean, and perfectly worthy. Absolutely. Thank you. So you you deserve to be in that territory. But did you? Did anything embarrassing happen? Did you? Did you sort of go dumbstruck at any point when you met anyone? Did, did you say anything? Because that's what happens sometimes when you meet your heroes, if they are your heroes. I mean, and the heroes were nice. You know, sometimes they say, yeah, you don't know, meet don't them. meet your heroes. But in this case, it absolutely was a wonderful experience for me. I work quite meaningfully in the uh, TV space already. I mean, I started in film. Always thought I'd direct a, a while ago, but actually transitioned into TV. Worked on multiple shows here in the UK before I moved across to America. So I've worked on shows like Jack Ryan, Fear the Walking Dead, other shows that bring you into contact with talent. Oh, so you're and fairly so, cool with it. Yes, but also, you know, I, look, I'm just going to be completely honest. You're cool with it, but then there's that moment where you're like, I do actually need someone to pinch me right now because there is so much talent in this one room and this small space. How am I in this? It's crazy, but well, wonderful. I will say this. I'm no expert. I just know what I like. I think you're in the space because you've made a really powerful film. And oh. congratulations on Thank being nominated. You. Yeah, keep us posted on how it goes yeah. on the big night. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not that long away. It's 10th March, so. Absolutely. Outfit sorted. Outfit sorted. It's a very special surprise. And uh, I know yeah. that sounds trivial, but it's important as well. You know what? It's the thing that everyone keeps asking me. I think I'm interested in answering not just who are you wearing, but why am I wearing it? So. OK, we'll keep an eye out for you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Congratulations, Nazarene Chowdhury. Um, Nazarene's film, Red, White and Blue, has been nominated for Best Short Film at this year's Oscars. Time now to get...